Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of times on this channel I talked about the significance of attending user conferences, community events, meetups, webinars because these are events where you find speakers across the globe sharing their knowledge selflessly. Personally, I register to a lot of such events and I learn a lot from those events. Even last week I registered to a user conference called Superbase Select. It's a very interesting story why I registered to this event. 6 to 9 months back I was vibe coding with bold.new. I was building a full stack application. It was all going good. I asked bold.new to add authentication to my application. That's when I realized it was using Superbase as a database. Of course this was not first time I came across Superbase. I heard about it two to three times before, but unfortunately I did not pay much attention to it. Few days later I was using Lovable and again I saw that they were also using Superbase. So I thought it's high time I should start learning about Superbase. I should probably start using it. I should do a proof of concept. and gain hands on on it but unfortunately i could not get time i got busy with other activities two to three weeks before again i came across a blog but this time the blog was talking about how superbase is evolving as a multi billion dollar company now i thought it's high time so you know i just searched for superbase on the internet i started looking out for resources i came to know they are conducting their very first user conference called superbase select i just went to the event i saw that it's also available for virtual participants so i just registered as a virtual participant of course because of the time zone difference i could not completely attend the event but the good part they posted the video on youtube so that i could just go back binge watch the video and understand what is the future roadmap of superbase how they are doing currently and also interesting features like their multigress i'll use this video to quickly recap and share what i learned by attending their superbase select of course i'll also share the link in the description if you find it exciting you can also go back and you can watch the video on youtube you can look at the agenda on their website I'll share all the useful links in the description. Let's get started. So the tagline of Superbase says, "Build in a weekend, scale to millions." The keynote was focused on the same thing. And Wilson, one of the co-founders of Superbase, started the keynote where And Wilson shared their journey, how they started from zero users and scaled the platform today to four million plus developers. In fact. it was a very interesting journey both ant wilson and paul copelston the co-founders of superbase started their journey from a flat in singapore they were working on different projects they were using firebase one fine day they thought why not take the capabilities of firebase and put them on top of postgres initially they thought such product might have existed quite obvious because postgres comes with three decades of development postgres is a complete open source platform but to their surprise they realized nothing of such exists and that is when they started superbase initially they branded it as real time postgres which actually sounds right perfect because what they were trying to build is real time postgres but it did not catch a lot of eyes so they rebranded it and called it open source alternative to firebase or open source firebase alternative and that's when lot of people started trying superbase i feel that's the right name or that's the right branding because firebase has a lot of users and working with firebase we all know challenges we all know uh, how how it would cost you if you start scaling on top of firebase now finding an open source alternative to firebase is a great thing and i feel that is where superbase caught a lot of eyes 
so once they started rebranding it so they started seeing more developers and just in 4 years they saw 1 million plus developers while this is all great and wilson shared the game changing moment so sometime end of last year ai builders like lovable bold.new figma v0 by versel they all started adding integrations or supporting integrations with superbase on their platform with which the number of developers grew from 1 million to 4.5 million plus developers now this is definitely game changing because lot of people now started using superbase and lot of people started building on top of superbase i personally enjoy reading about scalability listening about scalability so things became more exciting for me when paul the other co-founder of superbase took over the stage paul's keynote was mostly focused on scalability challenges with postgres observability challenges storage challenges and how superbase is planning to address these challenges paul shared some key features they contributed this year so superbase expanded the possibility of postgres by adding modules like cron jobs queues for handling background workers with postgres superbase also pioneered the use of ai to make build or query the database typically for people who are new to sql superbase also added declarative schemas this is very important because just like your code you can also store your schemas within the version control system and you can adopt gitops native practices paul also announced support for two new standards for two new ecosystems one is web3 and other is ai for web3 ecosystem they announced login with web3 according to paul this is one of the most requested features and for ai ecosystem just like we learned in the beginning of this video whether it is lovable bold.new figma they all added integrations or support integrations with superbase so superbase team announced the launch of their remote mcp server this is huge and this is win win situation both for superbase and also for ai builders now after talking about all these cool features and cool announcements paul spent a lot of time talking about scalability challenges with postgres i personally admire that because they ran 9 million databases on postgres so i'm sure they know core scalability challenges so paul talked about some common patterns some common scalability challenges and not only talking about the challenges paul also shared their steps on addressing these challenges so one of the key steps that paul shared from last one and a half year they have been funding an open source postgres extension called oriel i was not aware of this extension till the time paul mentioned about it so i just went back tried to understand what is this extension it looked very very promising and it's good to know from last one and a half year they have been funding this project to add to it now they have also acquired oriel now i personally feel this is a huge win to the open source community especially to the postgres community now this is one part oriel will address some parts of the scalability challenges but apart from that there are known challenges with uh, connection pooling ha zero downtime migration built in observability sharding to solve all of these challenges superbase team announced their very promising project called multigress of course later sugu talked more about multigress but paul introduced multigress and shared how multigress is going to solve this problem at a very high level and at the end paul shared a very very huge announcement that is superbase series e so superbase team is raising 100 million plus dollars which includes total raise of 500 plus million dollars and this keeps their valuation at 5 billion dollars so superbase is a 5 billion dollar company now okay why 
are they raising this funding paul also talked about it usually not a lot of companies talk about it but paul shared why they raised this series e so the series e funding will be used for the future of postgres will be used to keep multigres open source and to also address all of these scalability challenges to keep all of these sharding durability observability challenges solved one thing that surprised me at least something that i haven't heard before in the series e funding they have allocated 1 million dollars to open source contributors so if you are an open source contributor and if you are interested in taking a part in this round then you can actually take part of course there is a small caveat you have to be a postgres contributor or super base contributor so overall paul's keynote was power packed it was a lot of information in just 20 to 25 minutes of this keynote session personally i learned a lot once again it's on youtube the link is in the description if you want you can go ahead or you can also look the agenda on the superbase website another interesting session that i really enjoyed was multigres if you remember sometime back i talked about multigres it's a project that uh, superbase team has launched and they are trying to address the scalability challenges or sharding challenges with postgres using multigres sugu the team lead of uh, multigres was a speaker of this session and sugu explained very well about the sharding challenges sugu actually worked with google and at youtube they faced severe scalability challenges severe uh, sharding challenges so sugu also explained about the system design what exactly the challenges they faced back with youtube how did they address these challenges and also sugu shared his experience working or creating a company called uh, vitus and at vitus how they handled the sharding challenges although multigres is not production ready but they shared the github repository so you can download the multigres repository and bring the multigres uh, product up with few components and you can just use it for your proof of concept i am personally very excited about multigres and see how it shapes out there are a lot of design patterns that were discussed during this session i would highly encourage you if you are interested in uh, system design or if you are interested in design patterns if you are interested in sharding architecture i would highly recommend you to go through this session also paul had a very engaging q and a session with sugu that question also covered a lot of things around system design after all these high knowledgeable high insightful sessions on postgres on superbase they had some interesting sessions called fireside chat especially if you are a builder if you are planning to build something in 2025 these sessions are going to help you a lot because the panelists of these sessions are co-founders of million dollar companies they had the co-founder of figma they had the co-founder of stripe they had the co-founder of firebase and all of them talked about their journey all of them talked about the challenges they faced how you can build a product in 2025 what issues you can expect so they are very interesting because i'm working on building aqua i'm working on building something in the space of cloud native these sessions were very insightful for me once again i will share all of these links in the description especially the uh, superbase select agenda and also the youtube session 8 hour long youtube session where you can just go through it you can binge watch it and you can learn a lot about postgres and superbase i hope you found this video insightful it was a quick recap session i know if you want me to do a video on any of this session right even if you want me to do a simple introduction to superbase do let me know in the comment section see you all in the next video take care